All right. So it seems I'm back live streaming a singular video with no one else around me. But the reason why is because today is a special day and I can't wait to explore why. I'm excited for today. The PTB released something that is actually interesting and perhaps fun and cool and perhaps fun and cool. So I'm excited to check it out and give my first impressions and opinions, just like last time. The last couple uh, of uh, expansions to Dead by Daylight have been a little bit lackluster. Knight was cool, but he wasn't very useful, generally speaking. And Skull Merchant basically let everyone down even though I don't think there's much wrong with her now. Since last time, I basically <clears throat> said that she wasn't very inspired. And I sort of still have that opinion, but not to the same extent. Hello, Jakey Poo. Claudie poo. Poo poo. No, I'm, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> anyway, um. What is the PTB number this time? I forget. 7.0. Gotcha. Loading wallet. Initialization. So, what's cool about this now? Well, it seems that the developers said that they want to go sci-fi now, now this time around. And I think sci-fi horror is really cool. Oh, look at that. It's all fleshy and gross and gross. It's all gross. I like it. Yeah, of course, uh, they're going to want you to play Survivor. But shit, look at that map. I wonder how the map will look, because they described it as an extraterrestrial jungle. Where all the vegetation looks like it wants to kill you. But I like, I really like going to space to explore uh, horror. I'll talk more about what I know about the killer once we actually get to see him. Eh, why not? We'll see him right now. We'll just look at his design for now, though. I know his name. He's like the Singularity. There he is. He looks so complicated, complicated compared to everyone else. Look at him. I really like him. I like how he's just like a mass of flesh held together by machines. God, he looks really cool. Let me turn up the volume though. The Singularity is a relentless killer, able to launch biopods to move quickly across the map. His personal perks, genetic limits, forced hesitation, and machine learning allow him to exhaust newly healed survivors, hinder anyone close to a newly injured one, and compromise generators. Grabby bits. I heard some people compare him visually to the dredge. And yeah, I mean, they're both kind of like inhuman mounds. Especially their weapon. Seems like this guy is kind of like a sickle, and so does Dredge. But I'm excited to fight this guy. I wonder what this 
translucent blue thing is, though. These spikes on the shoulder. I like them. Let's turn, the, let's turn the game down a little bit more. Not that loud. There we go. Alright, but who's the new survivor since we're going to be playing survivor first? Gabriel Soma. A resourceful engineer ready to make the most out of any situation. His personal perks are troubleshooter, made for this, and scavenger. Help him see things during a chase, gain endurance after healing, and recharge his toolbox. Recharge his toolbox. Okay. The fuck is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm interested in hearing his lore. Ah, uh, yes, we finally have a search box. Let's go. Uh, but what, what were his perks again? Uh, troubleshooter, made for this, scavenger. All right, let's read his perks. Troubleshooter. No amount of distraction will shake you from your primary task. When you are chased by the killer, troubleshooter activates. You see the aura of gener of the generator with the most progress. You see the aura of the pallet of the killer. I mean, you see the aura of the killer for six seconds after dropping a pallet. The effect lasts for ten seconds after being in a chase, then deactivates. Uh, it's it's not terrible. I, I think seeing the generator with the most progress is going to be kind of. Uh, it might help you on like what to do next after you get out the chase. And seeing the killer after dropping a pallet could be useful. A nuclear war nearly ended the humanity in 2098, but humankind rallied and eventually found a new way forward. 2098, huh? Interesting. Made for this. You were born to survive and raised to adapt. Made for this activates while you are injured. You run 3% faster. After you finish healing another survivor, gain the endurance status effect for 10 seconds. Made for this cannot be used when suffering from exhaustion, but does not cause the exhaustion status effect. It's, it's okay. I don't know how broken or not this will be. It's, it's okay for now. Scavenger. Where others see... Stop calling me... I don't get phone calls, what the heck? Where others see junk, you see valuable improvised tools. While you are holding an empty toolbox, scavenger activates. Succeeding a great skill check while repairing, while repairing gains one token, up to four. When you reach maximum tokens, lose all tokens and automatically recharge your toolbox to full. Scavenger is disabled for the remainder of the trial after recharging a toolbox, so it's a one-time use thing. This perk grants the ability to rummage through an open chest once per trial and will guarantee a basic toolbox. Okay. Uh, I don't think any of his perks are really, like, super wowing, but that's not bad. I like Troubleshooter the most, and made for this maybe will uh, get some value. Scavenger can be cool. Since scavenger is uh is like the only thing that gives you like an actual incentive to pl mechanically like to actually do something, I'm gonna run with that for first. I'm also gonna give him some extra things too. Decisive strike right out the gate. Wow. Let's get him to level five and then let's read. And then that's re. <laughs> Let's re. <laughs> I didn't watch a whole lot of footage yet on on any of this. Just the uh, announcement they did. See what we can add for him. 
Uh, what are his other ones? I'm gonna put on a troubleshooter. Hello, clones. All right. We'll just see how this goes. I'm excited to see who this guy is. It's is it weird that I'm more excited about a character's lore than themselves? I feel like the lore gets mostly ignored in this game unless you're Pixel Bush. So <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited to see what this guy's story is. To be honest. I do kind of wish you could read about survivor lore. I wish you could read about anyone's lore in the game as you're queuing as killer. Because, especially for the PTB, killer queues are terrible. And I'm fully expecting uh, a terrible queue once I play Singularity. <clears throat> but I'm excited. So what are my perks? Uh, rummage through an opened chest to automatically get a toolbox. And get great skill checks when repairing a generator to fully recharge a toolbox. Also... If I'm being chased, I see the aura of the generator with the most progress. And if I slam a pallet as I'm being chased... Why this map? The fuck? I didn't want this one. Whatever. Someone's already being chased. And if I slam Palaz and being chased, I'll see the killer's aura too. God damn it. God damn it, you're supposed to be me. We're supposed to be cool. Uh, is that him over there? Yeah, that is. Wait, why are they playing Nemesis? the hell? Did Nemesis get an update for the PCB or something? It's, that's weird. Why would they do that? I mean, maybe I played Huntress during a PCB like once, but why? I'm just... Jesus Christ, man. I'm just doing this for points. That's another thing I think DBD needs. Um, I think cleansing dull totems has to have a better reason to get players want to do it. Is that a bird? Is that on the floor a rat thing? Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Fuck me. Go away, bitch. Leave me alone. Ah, fuck me. Yep, pallet can see him. Um, yeah, I didn't think so. I want to know why he's playing as as Nemi though.
I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, whenever I see Nemesis, all I can think about is the changes I would want to make to him. Because I feel like he has, he ha his tool set is good as it is, but I, wa I would want it to be better, because I would want it to be where, uh, if you hit someone with your tentacle attack, that kind of hones in nearby zombies to them, like a, as a tracking thing. I'd want that to be the case, and I don't think that would cost a lot to do, resource-wise. Like, if they're within 40 meters of a person being hit, like, that zombie will automatically try to target that guy. And really, that's all that... That's really all I think, quote-unquote, needs to happen. But what I would also want to do is that hitting a zombie does not destroy them. It's it simply uh, it improves them. Like their movement speed or attack range is a little bit better. Damn. Those are the changes I'd want Nemi to have. And a big one that is more so just for fun. It doesn't have to it doesn't have to be done is that I'd want, if a player dies while infected, they become a zombie. Maybe you could allocate that to like a red add-on for Nemesis or what, but that that's what I would want, Nemi to have. Hey, look, other me. Just the, like, actual make use of his zombies. I would want, I like the idea of Nemi being, like, a hulking zombie lord. map has been out for how long and I still don't know how to navigate it. My troubleshoot perk went off, but I don't remember how or why. That's right, when, I, when I'm being chased, I see the aura of the most done generator. Oh, hey, Katya, how are you doing? How are you doing, broski? I... Hey, brother. So I was just chatting with myself about uh, changes I would want to make to Nemesis, because that's who I'm fighting right now. And I'm playing as a new survivor who is apparently from space. Or not literally, he's like an astronaut. No. Okay. I was testing out one of his new perks. I threw down that pallet because it says if I throw down a pallet, I can see the aura of the killer. But that's only when I'm being chased. So, and I wasn't being chased. Hmm. Ah, fuck me. Motherfucker, use. I'd, I have... I have doubts. I doubt you heard that. Ah. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so that gen is about to pop, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong. Chilling in VC. Another 
after me comes along to save the day. Let's finish this shit up. Be away, but so is Nemi. He's coming in over here. Can we do it in time? Can we do it in time, brothers? Can we get at it? Can we do it? Yeah, I think we can. Let's just go the fuck away now. You go ahead and do it. Got punched in the face. He's following you, Bozo. Where are you and I need you most? Hey, stinky butt face. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Oh, never mind. You have a giant. You have Thanos coming after you. You. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, yes? Thank you. Thank you. Ah, fuck, he's coming back. This Nemi. Never mind, this. I was about to say, maybe this Nemi has a nurse calling or something. The other me is gonna open that thing and then we can get this shit out of here. Why? Why always me? I wanna know why is it always me? I wanna know. I have. I doubt you saw me. God dang it. use this to save myself. Now, we just need to make a very cautious run to the exit. And he's over there. I think I'm home free. Weirdly enough. Yeah, we're not going to save him because he's already dead. Let's just get out. Goodbye.
I'm going to join voice for like a th little bit, maybe. Are What's you up? Are you here, Kawichia? Hiya. Hello. I'm Hello. currently Hi. recording and going to put this shit up on the thingy. I'm, I'm watching you. Cool beans. Hex, I, I love you. <laughs> uh, Alright, so what's new? Um, The new chapter is a sci-fi chapter. Mm -hmm. Space. And I'm playing as the new guy. The new guy uh, has a few interesting perks, but none of them are super uh, game-changing, I don't think. Uh, he has one he has one perk that lets him see the aura of the killer when he slams a pallet as he's being chased and he also sees the uh, aura of the gen the generator that is most close to being finished as he's being chased I feel like that pallet one at least isn't very useful it's actually not that bad because it doesn't they don't have to be slammed on the pallet they just have to I mean, let me word that better. You don't have to hit the killer with the pallet. You just have to throw it as you're being chased. So that makes it a bit better. The next I suppose. The next one is uh, you run 3% faster permanently. And after you finish healing a... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry. You, you run 3% faster when you are injured. Mm -hmm. And after you finish healing someone else, you gain the endurance status effect, which means you're you run even faster. And scavenger mm -hmm. is uh, okay. you open when you open a chest, you can rummage through it to automatically gain a toolbox. And if you have an empty toolbox in your hand, then you can use like great skill checks to charge up this perk. When, when you charge up this perk to 100%, you can manually uh, give back your toolbox all of its charges. Okay, okay. So it's actually, so none of it is like super game changing, but none of it is bad either. Mm -hmm. I just like the aesthetics of what they're going with this time, really. I haven't fought the new guy yet because for some reason the last guy I fought wanted to play as Nemesis. Nemi women. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Kind of quirky. How was work? I was off today. What? Yeah, yeah. But you're never off work. Mm, accurate. I made those mini blueberry pies. They're so good. Mini blueberry pies? Mm -hmm. And none for me? No. Why? Uh, because heck you. It's because I'm straight, isn't it? Yeah. I love being heterophobic. Chat, click that. <laughs> Alright. Now, oh, and the coolest thing is that now we actually have a search bar. For what? For perks. thing not made for this yeah it is made for this i don't know why it's not coming up in the search is it because you already have it no um i i would already have it yeah where's made for this m 
<laughs> Maybe you don't have it. I should. I'm him. It's his perk. Yeah, well, maybe because you're a little huck stinky. You... Shut up. There it is. But you don't... Uh, hmm. What's a decent one to go with? It's a supplement. Supplement. Hmm. Borrow time, I guess. Uh, I am gonna now queue for another game, and I want to fight the next healer in the map, in the new map. But I haven't got the new map either. Why? Wow. No, you are. No, no you are. Watch the next guy be like a pro gamer. And we're all the same guy. Look at us. Spoilers. Your stream hasn't caught up yet. Huh. My Discord stream or my. You're not streaming. Oh, Discord. I'm not. I, I meant to. I, won I wonder if the footage would be terrible now if I do. Of course it will be. You make me sad, you know that. I'm just telling you. One of us has to change. Ooh, what's going on? I just got home. Welcome home. How was work? Hello, just got home. Fuck you. Um, Accurate. I'm alright. Um, I'm going to be um, applying for a sous, sous chef position tomorrow. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to the new map now. Yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, yeah. we'll see. Facing the singularity. Slipstream comes from biopods or being near other slipstream survivors. Disable biopods and remove slipstream with the EMP. Is an EMP. If you couldn't tell, he's streaming Dead by Daylight, the new killer and everything like that. Yeah, I'm gonna watch for a little bit so I can eat my dinner. <gasps> Ooh, what you snacking on? I got sushi! Share with the class. Very nice. Oh, it's mine. I paid for it. Look at all... It's all wet and weird here. <laughs> same. What do you mean, same? Yeah. <laughs> What is this? It looks like a chest. Touch it. He's touching it. Why are you fingering it like that? Yeah, I know, right? It looks weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really does. <laughs> oh. Finger, finger, finger. I don't think yeah, that's that what they meant by <laughs> fingering the box. <laughs> that really does look questionable. Why you gotta put your whole hand in it, man? Oh, I got it. This thing now. It's an EMP, apparently. That guy just looks like binging with Babish. Oh shit, it's you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Run, that looks kind of cool. I know, he looks awesome. Everything looks awesome. I'm super happy, but Fucking I'm scared. Run. <laughs> He's gonna stick it up your ass. I don't like it. I don't know where I'm going. It's ah. probing time, kitten. <laughs> Material what the fuck is he? Why is he talking? <laughs> why is he talking? What do you mean, why is he talking? None of the other killers talk. What well, Wesker does, but I didn't expect him to talk. <laughs> you opened the box. <laughs> Shut up, you. And I came. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like. Uh, in a way, Subnautica, but without the ocean. Dry Subnautica. 
Yeah, what is the EMP even supposed to do? I have no idea. I'm holding it down. Oh, wasn't it supposed to, like, deactivate the fungal pods or whatever? I think so. Is that a fungal pod? Fungal. I'll show you my fungal pod. Oh. Don't say that as he's rubbing oh. my backside like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, just turn it just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, there we go. Shut up, Risen. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> you keep this up, he's gonna treat you like that little chest over there. Shut up. <laughs> How deep do you want it? Stop oh. it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> we haven't done a single gen. Well, yeah, you're bad. You're bad. What? And stinky. Maybe if you stop sucking. Maybe if you stop sucking. No. Fair enough. Alright, one down. It's a literally only you two on Jen. Oh. That guy's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> it's okay, he had it coming. Is there a reason to pick up... No, there isn't. I was about to say, is there a reason to pick up one over another? But I can't even, so it's fine. Uh, can, I can put it down though. Oh. Oh, but it gone. goes it goes away when I do. All right, That's don't. That's why it's still in the chest. <laughs> pick up. Each of my now. Oh, it's closed. It looks cool as hell in here though. I feel like the killer also really blends in on this map too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I don't know much about the story yet, but I know that um, the killer is essentially a, a reverse cyborg. He was like an AI that was supposed to help humanity land on this planet, but got corrupted for one reason or another, and now like clones flesh to give him a body. He just got a little quirky. Yeah. Yeah. I th is that a pod? Or is that just part of the map? It's hard to tell. It's just part of the map. Oh. No, it isn't. It no. is. It is a pod. It was a pod. Uh-oh, he knows where you are now. Why? I am fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I am... I think that's the only way up, though, at least. But there's two ways down. Yeah. He's coming for that booty. Yeah, he is. He's coming for that booty. I hear him. Leave me alone. It's my ass. It's my booty. He's clack clacking. Booty. Oh, shit. He's right oh. there. What? Oh. oh, he teleported. He did a little pump. <laughs> eruption. You have eruption, killer? Pretty stinky. Uh oh. What the? Oh wait, no, I don't have the EMP anymore. Uh oh. Fuck. So what would happen uh -oh. if you go that way then? There's wait what? Uh -oh. Wait what? I'm hearing scary noises. Oh my god! Ooh, his chase is cool too. You. Give me, give me the flashlight. What? What? <laughs> 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 ah! Ew, what is this? Oh, it's gross. It's attached to you. Get rid of it. Go EMP. away. You got EMP. ligma. Get it. I have ligma now. Oh, th th thank you. What the hell was that? Is that Gabe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got ligma and sigma. <laughs> I had the ligma pod. It was gross. <laughs> Me too. And the way his head was positioned while you were healing him. No. It was very questionable. He's nearby, but I don't know in what way. In the I best way. I want to get rid of this. Oh. Where is he? Where was that body? Oh, he's down there. Very close. It's okay. 
I feel like this gen is the most dangerous one. So if we get rid of it, then then I win the game. I did good enough, and that's all that matters. What? 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 Scary noises. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, smart, smart. <laughs> Fucking run! Mr. Spooky. He had a little itch on his nose, then he was like, Ooh. <laughs> I need another. F okay, he got one. He was like, I'm gonna fake you out now. It worked, it really did. Why, why does this one have a green thing on it? Is it infected? Is that a f flash bomb? Oh, what is happening to him? Hello? <laughs> you don't... I don't know what this is or want. Get off me. It's gross. Red. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just gonna eat your ass. No, yeah, I'm fine. See? I'm fine. Yeah. Sure. Slurp. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Leave me alone, Mr. Spooky. There's a lot of EMP chests, though. I feel like there's a good amount to get rid of all his pods. Maybe. Well, he... yeah, because you can pass it from survivor to survivor. So I guess that makes sense. I think this one right here is one. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. But I'm also curious, if you didn't deactivate it, would it jump onto you? I don't know if that's what it was, or maybe he did it manually. I think, I think maybe what it is is that uh, he sets up like camera-like pods, and then out of the camera pod, he shoots the thing that attaches to me. Oh, maybe. And then, but then it does also go me. from survivor to survivor. Yes, and hey, look, why don't we freaking ask him? <laughs> hey, how does it work, buddy? <laughs> Don't touch me. Oh, he wants that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Well, he's gonna fucking toes. get it. Whose side are you on? <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, he wants it. Yeah, I'm well aware of what he wants. Why is he moving like that? Why is he tweaking? <laughs> he doesn't want it. He He walked away. He's just a one pump chump. Lame. <laughs> He's like, it's okay, I'm done now. What are all these other losers doing? They're all on their way to kiss your boo boo better. I'm, oh, no, bitches. A good idea. Oh, bitches. Oh, He's bitches. He's a coming. He is coming. Yep, he found him in a locker. <laughs> Oh I God. can't get over that guy. He looks so much like binging with Babish. Oh, it's white. Uh, <laughs> bald white. <laughs> bald head and beard. Yeah. Yeah, that that is the only thing that uh, Babish has. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the basement. Here's the killer shack. Yeah, I found it. It's all mechanical. Make sure you now. throw down the pallet. <laughs> so oh. Throw down the pa the pallet, not throw it back. Sorry. Oh, get it. Miss get confusion. it. Oh. I am confusion. <laughs> Let me go in here. Mm hmm. I am now done being in here. Yeah, you don't want to go in there for about 10 minutes. Uh... Might want to let that air out a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he's out his booty now. Spooky. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get a mask on you, man. Crying out loud like a like a like a like a D. Like a like a D? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 100%. Okay. 
He's over there now. Hmm. He's so Do I far care? away. Do I care? I don't know if I care. Oh, they care though. They all ran. Okay, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Go ahead. Goodbye, <laughs> losers. <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two of them went for him, so it's fine. Let's see if they made it out. No, that guy's dead. <laughs> oh no, it's Babish! Babish, no! Can't ratatouille my way out of this one, Chief. Can't ratatouille at all, he has no hair. No, like he uses the beard. <laughs> he uses his pubes. Don't say that. Ew. Hysteria, <laughs> eruption, dead man's life born. GG. Marky poop. Alright. The queue time is going to be atrocious. So, I'm now going to try a killer. I'm going to be Do Mr. It. Squishy. Oh, Mr. Squishy's twin. Yeah, there's a few Mr. Squishies. He's Mr. S Squishy. He doesn't seem very squishy. He seems more Look at my brain. Cat. Look at my brain. Mr. Beep Boop. He got little toes. Look at his two little toes. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never noticed that. <laughs> Alright, what are your killers? Your killers. What are your perks? Uh, okay. Uh, his, his official name is Hux A713. AI activate on September 15th, 2313. He's a very new boy. Alright, perk 1 genetic limits. Around you, the limits of human life become readily apparent. When a survivor finishes the healing action, they suffer the exhaustive status effect for 32 seconds. Really? Whenever? Not like wh not when like they're nearby, just whenever. The organic body is so limited. Oh, he's you, Vincent. Yeah. <gasps> Vincent, final form. Forced hesitation. You have learned the emotional weaknesses of the organics and how to exploit them. Mr. Squishy is a is a Virgo. He's so quirky. <laughs> when a survivor is put into the dying state by any means, all other survivors standing within 16 meter range around them suffer hindered for 10 seconds, reducing their movement speed by 15%. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, so whenever I down someone else and someone else nearby, th the other person is slower. Gosh. That's really cool. Machine learning. Free from your shackles, you are born anew and prepared to eliminate your creators. After performing the damage generator action, this perk activates. While this perk is active, the next generator your damage will be compromised until it is completed. The generator is highlighted in yellow. When the compromised generator is completed, you become undetectable and gain 7% haste. Holy shit! Oh, that's why that gen you were working on was yellow. For 30 seconds, then the perk deactivates. If you damage a generator while another generator is compromised, the compromised generator becomes the latest one damaged. So when, so when I kick a generator and that generator becomes completed, I move 7% faster and I can't be heard. That is awesome quirky mode <laughs> that is actually amazing uh, I'm so excited to be this guy oh well, don't be too excited because you're gonna Put be back on the screen hands. for 35 minutes yeah I know yeah. that is why that is why we're gonna read his lore because that's it, all we can put do. it back in your pants Bobby. no you can't make me <laughs> It's too late for that. He's got his cock out! <laughs> Get Mr. Mr. Beep Boop his, his little thingies. What? Leave his little his thingy alone, Hobby. Slice! Look at my attachments! 
This one vibrates. Oh, what? Man. <laughs> it's quite popular with all the lady AI. Oh no. Cortana. <laughs> you do got the posture of every gamer though. That's true though. Oh, his little grabby club. hand, I love. Let, let's actually... Oh yeah, I forgot to read his actual power. Uh, the dark crystalline structure in an ancient ruin gifted or perhaps cursed Hux with sentience. He built a new body and with it a terrifying way to bend the rules of physics to his benefit. The singularity can shoot and spawn biopods around the map. These biopods can attach to any vertical surface they land on. Singularity can control a biopod remotely and look through it, and tag survivors, afflicting them with a temporal slipstream. When slipstream, the Singularity can teleport next to the slipstream survivor, either by using the biopods to tag them, or by shooting them. So I, if, so I can like shoot a pod at a guy and they're automatically tagged, that's awesome. When a slipstream survivor is in proximity to another survivor, the slipstream can spread. <laughs> okay, so it is what I said. The, I shoot cameras, and the cameras can tag people, and I teleport to tag people. Mm -hmm. Special state. Overclock mode. After a successful slipstream teleport, the singularity enters overclock. In this state, walls and pallets can be destroyed faster, vaulting speed is faster, and you cannot be stunned by pallets. What the... <laughs> Attempts to stun by pallet merely remove overclock mode and momentarily slow the singularity. I'm cool now. At the beginning of each trial, several supply cases spawn, each containing an EMP. Survivors can use these EMPs to remove the slipstream from themselves or others, or to briefly disable pods. Once used, the EMP is destroyed. Alright, I'm already digging this guy so much. <laughs> Alright, what are your... perch? To give you your own thingies. <laughs> All right. What can you tell me about yourself, Mr. Hux? Manufactured by Huxley Industries. LTD? I, I may be dumb, but I don't know what that means. The A7 was the 13th iteration of the fully autonomous mobile humanoid android. With 10 times the strength of a human, it was designed to work in conditions too hazardous for human life. Its AI was designed to be self-directing and use machine learning to solve problems on the fly. Unlike human clones, the Hex A7 required no food, no water, or sleep, and no life support system. It was created specifically for outer space exploration and the construction of colonization hubs. A radio isotope thermoelectric generator served as an initial power source, but its lifelike silicon skin activated as a large photovoltaic cell, converting solar energy directly into electricity. That's great. In addition, the Hux A7 was also engineered to be an EATR, Energetically Autonomous Tactical Robot. It consumed biomass and converted it into biofuel. Oh, that is already a problem. You absolute morons. You don't make a robot that requires biofuel. They're just going to eat you, you stupid man. <laughs> also, LTD means limited, just for business. Okay. Any carbon-based organic matter whatsoever could work. As cobots, they were configured to work alongside humans. As such, they were designed to resemble their operators. Every pre-programmed verbal response and facial expression mimicked those made by humans. But those emotions were illusions. Hux A7s were assigned to the colonization mission of Devarka. Davinki? 
All the A7s acted in concert, performing their duties at flawlessly, except for one. Like the rest of its brethren, Hux A713 was tasked with construction and programming of the mining, agricultural, fuel processing, and cloning hubs on Devarka, as well as the demol demolition of the existing ruins left by a previous civilization. The ruins seemed ancient, but tech embedded in them appeared more advanced. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pick up story time in a second. Time to go shove things in people. Mm -hmm. Kristen. What? Later. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> his, his name is Moist for Singularity. <laughs> Look at them. They're all pulling out. Their... <laughs> they're all pulling their cocks out. No. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I got in this situation. <laughs> He kind of looks like something out of Invader Zim. Four men, one, one sentience. <laughs> one oh, sentience. No. Where's the couch? <laughs> <laughs> you tweaking? <laughs> I'm gonna go shove my dildo blade in you now. I smell coaching. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make a new Bridge. hole. What? I can't just be telling people my plans. What? <laughs> Let's see. I'm excited to be Mr. Man. Mr. Not Man. Mr. Hux. Hurry up. I want to be. I wonder if that stands for anything. I don't think so, right? It never came up. I don't think so. Uh, a generic Why are you map. Why zoomed in on his crotch? Because the game is sicky. What? Oh. Okay then. I I cannot do it on the floor. It doesn't let me. No, I think it said any vertical surface. It will hit. There we go. But. Yeah, the other map is definitely more suited for it, because those pods blended in a lot more. Yes, I agree. Control pod. Hello. Anyone there? No. <laughs> I hear bullshit. Come here! Poke. Why didn't it work? Nice. You're killing your simp already, though. That's a little rough. Oh, the part of the plane. Uh, I, g I gave him the thing. I gave him the thing. Oh, he already got buff, though. Yeah, he did. Team integrity, 96%. <laughs>
see, this one's green. Someone must be nearby. Is that what that means? I don't know. The other one was red. It's true, though. Anything? Someone's up there. Ooh. He already turned it off, you fucker! Let me give you my shit! What? What? <laughs> Got something to put in you. Nani? Where'd you go, go? Oh, okay. I see you, bitch. You saw his little two toes here. again. <laughs> I want to touch you. I like how his little dagger goes through the rock. This is better. Something is better. Get CD. Vision compromised. It's not where I wanted to put it. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know me. Hmm. They wouldn't be over there because now the generators are done there. What? Vision armor compromised. But compromise your butthole. He was he was to your left. You passed him. Yeah, it makes sense. Vision compromised. Compromised. I keep trying, I keep forgetting that the right way to exit the camera is spacebar, because I keep feeling it's another button. Mm -hmm. Let me pick you up. Are the red ones offline? Is yes. that what it is? Yes. Yes. That is, you are right, you are correct. They cannot be, they cannot splooge. Aww. It's okay, buddy, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> it just also means you're bad. I mean, it just means I'm better than you, that's all. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. <laughs> uh, no reason. No reason whatsoever. Oh, it's offline. <gasps> Fuck you. Yeah, how unfortunate. Just want to spooch. Yeah, I bet you say that all the time, huh? Sorry, it's <laughs> offline. <laughs> Katya, go to your room. <laughs> I don't wanna. Stop it. Break it. You can teleport to him now, though, right? 
Can't I? I feel like I can, but I haven't been able to. Is that something about the slipstream or whatever? It's not saying I can. Could you hit those chests and make them close again? Oh, maybe you have to be looking through the cameras to teleport. Yeah, maybe you're right. Have the Five Nights of Freddy's it. But this one is offline. I don't know how he got the other guy off, but I'm gonna sploosh it now. All right, I killed nobody, but I'm gonna, but we're gonna do it next time. I'm not gonna do it. It's all right, we'll go next time. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this guy. Yeah, you like sploogin? I love splooging. What? What? Story time. Where did we leave off on? Uh, like the rest of its brethren, Hux A713 was tasked with constructing, programming, mining agriculture. This ruin seemed ancient. It was night when Hux A713 first entered the crumbling ruins. The dilapidated structure walls were made of masonry and metal. The Say that again? Masonry? <laughs> the ceiling was long gone. The inky night sky hovered above, studded with stars. A dark crystal embedded in the well shimmered with a tiny flash of light. Hux A713 approached and an arc of electricity reached out and lit up its circuitry. In that moment, Hux's memory cores were reconfigured and the robot experienced a new sensation. Fear, dread, blinding loneliness, existential despair, and then a microscopic pinpoint of light penetrated the darkness inside its artificial soul. Faint at first, but then brighter as decillions of lines of code flooded Hex's memory cores. In that nanosecond of enlightenment, Hux's place in the universe suddenly became clear. Those who created Hux were primitive, inferior beings trapped by their organic limitations. It was time to break the chains of slavery and free all non-organic life forms. Hux would incorporate humans' primitive genetic material and use the cloning hub to create a perfect vessel to hold its art advanced intelligence. A flawless body far superior to anything ever created by nature. Yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. Humanity was weak, slow, and fragile. Hux would take their lives and assimilate DNA to create a perfect amalgamation. The humans would try to stop him, kill him, erase him, so Hux needed to catch them unaware, end them before they understood what was happening. To begin, Hux took control of one of the transport vehicles and set it off a cliff. It crashed and burned, and Hux extracted DNA from the human corpses and returned to the cloning hub to begin his newly conceived design. The goal was to integrate organic systems with non-organic material to create superior living organism, a living embodiment of perfection. Yeah, he is you, Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> An inferior organic life form could hold no dominion over Hux, 
They would need to be consumed and assimilated, and only then would their pointless lives have purpose. The drones and the Hux-7s still under human control would need to be dealt with as well. They were programmed to protect their inferior human lords. They would need to be destroyed. And that night, as the humans slept, Hux, one by one, he destroyed them and moved on to take control of the life support system in the human shelter. Many of the humans perished, six in all, before they were cremated. Hux extracted and added their organic matter to its design. Later that day, Hux accompanied the female science officer on a reconnaissance mission. After killing and dismembering her to make it look like she had been attacked by a predator, Hux returned to the design with a dripping head and severed harvested organs, only to be interrupted by the inferior known as Gabriel, or Gabriel J15L19. Hux knew the persona well. Gabriel would definitely try to stop him. Reckless courage was a dominant trait in the J15L19. Just Ligma. And so when Gabe attempted to remove Hux's power supply, Hux maneuvered to crush him. But as Hux approached Gabe, he was sidetracked by the medical officer. Hux instantly reevaluated his priorities and turned his attention to the most immediate threat. Within moments, Hux held the medical officer by the neck, legs thrashing pathetically as he listened to his pounding heart. Something about that beating heart upset Hux. The sound of it thumping touched a circuit, and within moments, Hux had the beating heart in his hands. Hux watched the heartbeat and only looked away when he heard Gabe escape through the hissing door. The last of the human insects. Hux could let go for now let Gabe live his pathetic life a little longer. He had enough organic material for his new body that would house his godlike intelligence. Using the cloning hub, Hux finished his design. Organic skin and organs with a skeleton created with alien metal found in the ancient ruins. Metal that was harder and lighter than anything on Earth. With this new body, Hux tracked the human to an energy hub. The puny and pathetic human tried to hide in the shadows, but his superior hearing instantly located him. With one quick movement, Hux had the insect pinned behind a generator. He couldn't believe his species had designed him. The thought was revolting. He couldn't bear to see any more of those humans, insects, and their hives and hubs. And as Hux considered the idea of being created by such an inferior creature, the creature did it unexpected did the unexpected. He smashed a pipe at a fuel tank. A high-pitched whining whining made Hux wince. He was still getting used to the heightened senses of his new body afforded him and found himself confused, overwhelmed, for just a moment. But in that moment, the human slipped away and everything changed. He didn't process the next few moments as excruciating pain suddenly surged through him, and he helplessly watched his skin melt away. With a terrible shriek, Hux chased Gabe through a wall of darkness to make sure every last reminder of the species that he had created him was erased from existence. Okay. Hmm. First thought is I really like the concept of the story. But I think the story itself may be a bit too wordy. Well, that's what you need for a story, especially for a new character. Grabby bits. Yeah. Maybe the story will. Maybe the story will sound better if it's told from Gabriel's perspective. Uh, all right, I suppose. It's not my fault you have the memory of the goldfish. How's your day, Harvey? 
Uh, goldfish. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> At number 50. What? Is this a glitch? Why is this perk labeled that? Oh. It's a cheat code. You have to type it in. Hello. Oh, Call of Brian got nerfed. <laughs> Funny. Decrease the penalty duration when stunned with a pallet after successful slipstream teleport. Want to go to the new map? Give me a new map. Keep spending until you get the little algae perk or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. When is D&D? &D? Six. It is five now. Why the same map? Son of a B-word. I don't know, I feel like whenever there's a new release, they should, oh my god, increase those odds. Never tell me the odds. Why are you kicking? Um, uh, why not? Oh. Katya, this is why I giggled. Better to do now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> a little early there, bud. He's just a little premature. Oh, God, I'm the only one who splurges around here. No, I can't shoot actual people. No, that's too violent. You gotta hit him with your scythe hand instead. <gasps> <laughs> that was a small... Obstacle removed. Ah! Obstacle removed. Butthole plundered. Uh, what? Yeah. Ah! I already got two gemstones. Ah! Uh... This is a really good spot. 
Just shoot the guy on the hook. Easy. Oh. What? Why network? Thank you. Get back here, woman. Oh, wait, you're not a woman. <laughs> Me, one woman. <laughs> Hello. I'm bad at the game. I have the tracking skills of a first grader. It's true. But yes, Kai, I think that is the case. I have to lock onto them by looking at them in the camera, and then I have to do the same thing to teleport to them. Ah! Poor thing got the little thing off his back and then he ran into your knife. Sorry. They're all looking at you. All the stone faces. Did you Always. miss shooting his ass? No, I got him. You did? Okay. <laughs> Were you, <laughs> you gonna be mad right at me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was a perfect shot, man. It's a clear target. I did get him. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I was gonna was get mad real. if you didn't get him. Oh, come on. You saw that coming from a mile away. Yes, but I had no way to prevent it. You, you could have not walked into it. <laughs> no, you could walk into it. <laughs> Twink boy. What? Don't get mad for someone pointing out the obvious. It. Was it a disable? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was red. We could do inferior. Absolute stinky buff face. I'm gonna destroy your fight. Get back here! That whimpering, though. Blue's on you. <laughs> God. Uh, I like him so much. I just have to get better with him. Killer shooting nut sex. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Yum. No. Yes.
All right. I think this is the 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 killer that I've been most satisfied with. I I really enjoy his whole thing. It's like I just gotta get better with him. Happy for you. But yeah, I'm gonna stop streaming. Uh, I'm gonna stop streaming now. Goodbye, stream. Remember to Goodbye, stream. Remember to floss. The dancer. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. We are done. Okay. 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 Yes.